Welcome YouTube, I'm Gaming Stubbers, and this is another episode to my Minecraft Road to Mindtopia series, episode 2. And in today's episode, we are going to go kill the sheep, which I believe were over there, um, to make a bed, make a couple of furnaces, cook the food, and extend this room. And I'm going to talk a bit about today, about me and my future as a YouTube gaming commentator and tell you sort of where I want to be and stuff like that and I just want to mention before I talk about all that I may be doing a few videos on how to get popular on YouTube how to earn some money on YouTube and how to promote yourself and all that stuff how to become a YouTube good YouTube gaming commentator <laughs> mainly okay so now I've hit that one beef, I have enough energy to run over, kill a few sheep. Okay, and hopefully I will keep this video reasonably short, and when I start digging my mine and do um, a lot of my mining, I'm going to try and keep that like as short as possible, and not on video too much. Okay, so first I want to talk about sort of my gaming style. In a lot, for, for the most of my gaming style, it's all about my knowledge. I use a lot of tactics and my knowledge about the games, which is what makes me good at Minecraft and games like that. And I tend, like Minecraft, I don't tend to at PvP, mainly because I don't have the reaction speed, I don't have the targeting um, for the most of it and stuff like that to become a good PvPer which is a shame but there's got to be something you're bad at and that's one of my things that I'm really bad at and but though I'm not good at that I'm good at, I'm really good at PvE but I'm good at things like F1 because I just have a real thirst for speed on games like that and when I play games like that though I will crash a lot I, I'll admit, I'm, I'll crash a lot of games like that, but that's because I often, I go really fast around corners, a bit too risky, but that's what makes me good at games like that, because I will take the risk of going around a corner at 100 miles an hour, when you're meant to go around there at 75, or something, I will go around there at that extra speed, and a lot of the time I will make it work, and if it doesn't work, I can always do it better on the next time round. So it's things like that that just make me good at games like that. Also, reasonably good at FIFA. Um, I I'm, don't make good enough decisions on that though. That's my problem. I make two more furnaces, by the way. Got to do them too, so I've got now four furnaces. And I need to make myself a new sword and a new pick. So if I do that... And, okay, let's put that there and I know I need to put that there and that there okay so if I need to reorganize this bar and put that there and my future on YouTube I want one of my biggest goals like a lot of people if you really want to come big on YouTube the best thing to do is join a gaming community T like TGN's probably second biggest I would have thought um, but the main one if you really really want to become a big gamer want to earn a living off gaming and have that as a full time job you want to become part of machinima like okay I'm not bad mouthing people like TGN but if you ever, um, ever think of like if you want to become a big gamer who do you think you're going to join it's machinima that is the by far the biggest gaming community on on YouTube. If you think of people like TGN, that's all. That's always the second person I think of when it comes to gaming community. They've they've not even got as much as most of the big YouTubers. People like Syndicate Project have got I think it's about double of what TGN have got. Where Machinima, them they've got I think it's like it's about four or five channels. They've got like Machinima Realm, actual Machinima one, sports, respawn, and stuff like that. 
they on their main one though, they've got four times what Syndica Project's got, and he's the biggest, he's the biggest solo gaming commentator in the UK, and he's got 1.3 million subscribers, and about 430 million views, which is pretty epic, to be honest, that is really good, and that's mainly, not to say bad about him, I love the Syndica Project, he's probably my favourite YouTuber, and probably the reason I wanted to get into YouTube is totally because of him, but part of the reason he's so well known is because, one, of course he's really funny, really fun to watch, and stuff like that, but he's, he's a machinima director, when you people like that you get a lot more exposure to the world, and you earn a lot more money to be honest. I can't talk about the money because I don't know much about the money. It's about, you can make some really nice money off that though. I, I know like, apparently, I remember there was a video out of one of the big YouTubes, can't remember who it was, with some really dear like 50 grand car. People started going crazy about, oh look, how much money do they make? And they must make tons and stuff like that people saying like that and loads of people started going oh, I want to become a gaming commentator you shouldn't do it just because you've seen the money though plus he didn't re he's a director whoever that I can't even remember who it was but he was a director so he's making extra money anyway it's not easy to become a mission of my director that's probably one of the hardest things to become in the gaming in industry and he he wouldn't be making the 50 grand for that car over like a year. He wouldn't have had that money in the bank ready. He would have made a lot. He would have taken out a free four-year loan. So a lot of people were going crazy about the money when really he doesn't have that sort of mon money. It's just the fact he's been sensible with his money and got a loan as well. Which it's like why are you going so crazy? The money isn't completely that good. It's good enough to live on if you if you're reasonable with your money. But you, you shouldn't go into YouTube in for the wrong reason. The reason I want to be in, on YouTube is because I love gaming. I love playing games and I want to share my you my knowledge with other YouTubers and people just simply watching YouTube. So um stop speaking about that for a second as I'm if you're wondering what I'm doing there, I'm starting to make my mine. I always try and get into my mining quite quickly, because the sooner you get diamonds, the sooner you're likely to start building a house and have some fast tools, which I like. And I always do it free wide and have a stairway down the middle. I should really do it down to one side. Actually, I am going to do it down one side. Because I always, also one down one side, I have um, a minecart track. Okay, so I think that's it, it for this episode. And also I want to say, I always say comment, tell me what you like about my videos. And it's really, really useful for me. Because there's no point in me watching my own videos all day. It'd be pretty strange if a mate comes into my room saying, oh, what are you doing? It's like, oh, I'm watching my videos. Yeah, well, if they came in every day and found out you're doing that, or if they found out you were doing that every single day, watching your own YouTube videos, like, videoing them, recording them, on, re like, rendering them on, all that, all that, then watching them yourself, just doing it for yourself, there's no point in doing that, that'd be ultra weird, it's like, what the hell are you doing, like, why, sh why are you doing that, that's just strange as hell, like, who would want to be doing that, that's just something really stupid. There's no point me doing it without my f fans, viewers. I know I haven't got too many at the moment, but hopefully one day I will do. There's no point me doing it without you guys. So, for people out there watching my videos, thank you for watching it. Please give me the um, give me the feedback though. It really helps me to know what I'm doing bad, good, or whatever, because I want to give you guys the better videos so that you 
don't get bored to death. So, anyways, so that's it for this episode. I've been Gainy Stubbers. See you next time.